This video shows how to assemble the main metal frame. This frame is the main structural element of the Hello B Prusa. Don't forget you may need to file away thicker spots of paint or metal fragments if there are pieces that aren't fitting together properly. Start by taking the metal pieces apart from each other. You can simply twist them off by hand or if you prefer, separate them using cutter pliers. Take your time and remove the pieces gently. Yanking them out can cause damage. Notice the large frame's lettering, as later on, you will find it is a good way to check if the components you are fastening are facing the correct way. You should file away rough or sharp bits for a smooth finish. Next, we'll be screwing together the pieces you see here. The parts will fasten at these points. Take note of the orientation of each of them as they have very specific positions. See the user manual for the exact references of the parts needed. Here, we aim to show you a useful tip. Put a screw in place and then put a washer on it and screw on the corresponding nut just a little. Place the metal piece in the correct position and screw tightly using a hex key. Remember to screw all the pieces that make up the frame together tightly as this will make it nice and sturdy. Don't screw too tightly as you may fray the sides of the socket. The following steps uses the components you see here. Once again, check the user manual for the exact references of the parts needed. What's very important to keep in mind is that these two larger pieces are different from one another. Always make sure they are facing the correct way and are in the correct position before screwing them in. Don't forget to fasten these two parts to the larger frame before continuing. You can use the Hello B Prusa lettering to check if everything is facing the right way. Once these are all done up correctly, you'll be fastening this rear bracket. Note how there are symbols that match up on either component. In this instance, it's small semicircles. These also tell apart this bracket from another very similar one. Again, we recommend you pre-fasten the screw, washer and nut in position. Do everything up nice and tight. Next, we'll assemble these parts here. Check the user manual for the references of the exact nuts, screws and washers you will need and always take the time to make sure everything is facing the correct way. Notice the two larger pieces are not identical. Now it's just simply a matter of fastening these pieces together. Once this is done, fasten these pieces to the front. Remember to check carefully to be certain the components are all correctly placed. Place the brackets as shown in the manual to the two pieces protruding from the front. Notice the triangles on either piece and make sure the bracket is the right way up. Tighten it all together. So far, your Hello B Prusa should look like this. The following step is to place the Y and Z axis stepper motors. On the end of the wiring of each motor, you can find the corresponding label indicating for which axis the motor is for. Don't get them mixed up. Start with the Z axis motors. Looking head on to the printer, the plug and the motor with the shorter wiring has to be to the left. Make sure the wiring coming out of the motors goes towards the back away from you. A top tip when screwing in the motors is to not fasten the screws too tightly. If you do, you might damage the thread and that might render the motor unusable. Following this, place the Y axis motor. Take note that the wiring coming out of the motor must be facing downwards as seen here. Avoid placing the heavy frame on top of the wiring. Do not tighten the screws all the way. The motor must be loose in order to tighten a belt around the shaft later on. These flex couplings seen here fit onto the Z axis motor shafts. 
they need a clearance of around 1mm before being fastened. They mustn't touch the motor casing at all. Tighten them well. Following this, we'll assemble the components seen here. We start with the flat belt pulley and the spacer. Keep in mind they don't fit in any old way. The spacer fits into the pulley on one side only. Thread the screw through them and see that the spacer goes inside the pulley. This is to be certain it's in its proper place. The pulley should spin more or less freely. Now it's time to put it on the frame. Consult the manual for both the position and the correct order of the components, especially the washer and nut. You can use the spool holder to screw in the nut. The spool holder doubles as a spanner of different sizes. Finally, we attach the tooth pulley to the shaft of the Y-axis motor. Note that it has a clearance of around 5 to 6 millimeters from the motor. Screw it on tightly. Once this is done, the structure of your Hellebi Prusa is ready.